Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World Nitty Planes. For this flight I'm going from Batman to Baghdad and I'm doing so in a freeware F5E. And it looks like this. Unfortunately it has some strange sound effects that I can't turn down. For instance, the breathing in the cockpit. I tried turning it down, but it doesn't respond to the volume controls. It's, it seems like it's the only sound that doesn't respond to the volume controls here. The engine sounds sure do respond, but... I can't do anything to turn this breathing down. Uh, maybe there's something around here somewhere. The cockpit looks alright. Um, I don't know if it's accurate to the F5. I could probably check because I've got a good F5 in DCS world. But anyway, it'll do for now. Uh, I'm not going to be spending time in the cockpit anyway. Given that this is a very intense war zone kind of place, I'll try to avoid Syria at least. Uh, but uh, you know, there's, there's a troubled location in general. Uh, so I decided to go with the Swiss livery, <laughs> so that everybody knows that I'm neutral, okay? And uh, that's that's the story anyway. And I, I am carrying Sidewinders just in case, I suppose. But uh, always better to be prepared. But uh, we are going to make the flight and land in Baghdad. There should be photo scenery all along the way. And I am going to continue with the Apollo 12 audio. Where we left off, they were... Still waiting around the moon. They're going to be doing some picture taking around the moon, tracking objects um, and doing stuff like that. They're not going to be probably returning to Earth just yet. They've got a few more orbits to make before they do that. So I'm going to press play on that audio. Uh, this is Apollo Control. We, as you heard, have not had any success. Uh, okay, and here we go. Contact with the crew and getting the proper on the antenna selected. Uh, so uh, communication problems. Uh, communication. Uh, the next uh, step will be to send a radio signal to the spacecraft, which will uh, trigger the master alarm in the uh, cabin, uh, giving the uh, audio tone. Also Afterburners the only come on like right at the end uh, the of the throttle range. The this decision this time was to, if necessary, and await them. And it seems as like it's heavier than it ought to be. Uh, to re-establish calm rather but anyway. than uh, continuing to try to get through to them and get proper on the antenna selected and perhaps uh, interrupt their sleep uh, after they are more sound. Looks good later. though. I mean... Now, this is Apollo Control at uh, 151 hours 32 minutes. We are I always like the, the F5, the uh, T-38 and those kinds. Trigger the, nice uh, nimble planes. Alarm light on the... Uh, display console and also send a tone to the uh, headsets. Uh, the uh, best guess we have at this point is that the crew was, uh, after a long day, uh, quite tired as they went behind the moon, uh, perhaps beginning the sleep period on the back side of the moon. We want to, of course, reestablish communications uh, and uh, do that as early in the sleep period as possible. So the decision was made to attempt to arouse them at this time and get good communications re-established on the Omni antennas. How dare you try to wake and them up. Allow them, allow them to go back to sleep. They're tired. Now this is Apollo Control at 151 hours. I like the Shamu tank too. The uh, network controller is sort just of a killer whale to get a bit of coloring on that tank. From the spacecraft at Madrid. Uh, it's got an elevator trim sound. Getting a weak signal uh, from the spacecraft through the 210-foot dish at uh, Goldstone, California. Still no uh, solid lock-on. So we're going a little well, bit further to the east uh, than we strictly uh, need to avoid Syria. Turn up your S -band voice. Well, you're gonna know when I use elevator Apollo trim. 12, I think this must be the Tigris or Euphrates or something. Let me check uh, another map. Apollo 12, Apollo 12, in the blind. Give us Omni Bravo, please. Uh, 
Now this is Apollo controlled at 151 hours, 43 minutes. Uh, we're going to hand over now to the uh, Goldstone site where we have a 210 foot dish antenna for reception. And uh, Capcom, Don Lynn will continue to try to uh, make contact with the crew and uh, to reestablish the proper omni antenna. Tigris for, uh, is around here. Communications lock on. Let me see, where are we? This is Apollo Control at 151 hours, oh. 54 minutes. I don't know what uh, sound that was. We're continuing at this time to attempt to uh, reestablish communication. Just wanted to check I wasn't running out of air two, even though uh, I've got a very uh, audible mask on. The, Seems uh, alright. Look, we had uh, Ooh, nice view. prior to LOS on the previous revolution. Everything looked good. This isn't quite the Tigris uh, the yet next to us. It's going to merge with the Tigris soon. Uh, quite busy at that time. Uh, we should be on Omni B. At the present time, we suspect that the spacecraft is configured for Omni B. Yeah, that's B, a good look right there. Uh, which is not oriented in the proper direction for us to get sufficient signal, both uplink and downlink, for a lock on. The 210 foot dish at uh, Goldstone, California is receiving a signal from the spacecraft. Uh, however, it is of not, not of sufficient signal strength to allow us to establish lock. I want to stay below the speed of sound because I don't we quite like the sound of breaking the sound barrier the in this. Again, goes behind the Because it makes a funny sound. And, uh, we will continue uh, through uh, radio signals. I like the clouds we'll today. Activate the flashing light and tone in the headset and also by calls from the Capcom to uh, re-establish communication. Uh, there's no concern in mission control at the present time uh, over the situation. Uh, the principal concern is to uh, awaken the crew, uh, if that is what is necessary, as early in the sleep period as possible to avoid uh, disturbing their sleep any more than necessary. At 151 hours, 56 minutes, this is Apollo Control continuing to stand by. Yeah, for a little bit, the border between Syria and Turkey is formed by the Tigris River, only on the very east corner, northeast corner. Oh, oh that's the sound. Yes, that's the sound I wanted to avoid. Sorry. I was looking at the map. And we have data. Well, I guess you have to hear it once at least. Apollo 12, this is Houston. Do you read us? Or twice. That's us going below the speed of sound. But whatever. That's okay. not quite how it works. Not quite how it works. spacecraft is in a proper attitude for the uh, sleep configuration. Uh, in a stable attitude. And we're continuing to uh, try to get some reaction. That's definitely the, the biggest crew. downside to this model of this plane. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Apollo 12. Okay, so that river below us is the Tigris Hello, now. Apollo 12. What do you want? What do you uh, want? We were just a little concerned about letting you go for eight hours without any calm. Uh, we're sorry to interrupt your sleep, but now we've got you back in calm, so we're just going to wish you a good night. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, we're not sleeping. We're all just trying to get clean in here, so we had to calm off. Uh, we'll be back with you after a while. Don't panic. Don't no, panic. No problem. It's just that we had no uh, TM or anything. We uh, didn't want you to go to sleep before we uh, uh, got a hold of you. Now, this is Apollo Control. You heard Pete Conrad advise that uh, the crew had not gone to sleep. They were busy getting... The spacecraft cleaned up, well, we presume getting things stowed away and getting ready for their sleep period. And, uh, had nice the little canyon the Tigris forms uh, there. Circuit off. We now have a good solid lock on, continuing to get uh, data, and uh, we expect that uh, the crew will be beginning their sleep period shortly. This is Apollo Control at 152 hours, 12 minutes. Our communications engineer has just reported that the uh, crew has uh, 
begun configuring their communications for the uh, sleep period. And we expect that they will be uh, getting to sleep before too much longer. Uh, the flight plan called for the sleep period to begin at uh, 150 hours, about two hours ago. Uh, Pete Conrad reported that uh, they were getting things clean. Well, I guess apparently. we'll just follow the Tigris. Uh, the crew was a bit dirty after their extravehicular activities and uh, uh, getting the spacecraft, their equipment cleaned and stowed. Uh, we had reacquired or had uh, had the spacecraft come We're still in Turkey in right now. Position for reacquisition at 151 hours, nine minutes. At that time, the uh, spacecraft communications uh, system was apparently configured so that the on the antenna, the active on the antenna, was not pointed in the proper direction for us to receive or to transmit to them. Uh, the original thinking was that the crew had probably configured for sleep on the back side of the moon and come around in front with the uh, improper on the antenna. At uh, 151 hours 29 minutes, after several attempts to uh, establish communications uh, via the capsule communicator, Flight Director Glenn Lunny uh, gave the order to transmit a signal to the spacecraft which would activate the alarm system on their uh, display panel, flashing a light and uh, feeding a tone into the headset. Apparently the uh, weak signal strength which we had both down from the So to our right is to Syria. Did not allow us to get that alarm in. The and, right uh, of the Tigris the River there. At uh, 152 hours, two minutes. Uh, we again and in front of us is Iraq. Lock on through the Omni antennas with the 210 foot dish antenna at Goldstone, California. And about one minute later, uh, Pete Conrad responded uh, with a hello and wondered what we, what we were calling about. Uh, in reconstructing the situation, apparently the crew had the uh, communications Huh. Figured off Those the are spacecraft. interest. That's an interesting mountain uh, ridge. We were not able to get to them to get the proper on the. That little bit at the uh, center of the image uh, seems data. like it's almost and a mistake. Data nor voice but communication. I don't know. At this time, we are getting good data, uh, high bit rate data through the Omnis and uh, the. Tough to trim this the, out. Uh, large 210 foot antenna at Goldstone, and uh, it appears that the crew is at this time uh, getting I prepared for their sleep period. Don't want to break the sound barrier again. We have some seven minutes left before loss of signal again as uh, Apollo 12 goes behind the moon on its 35th revolution. At 152 hours, 15 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 152 hours, 22 minutes. Uh, we've just had loss of signal now. Uh, the spacecraft at the time of LOS uh, looked good. The crew was configuring at that time. I guess there's for their some plate period. tectonics that forms that. And you can sort of see the fault that, uh, line there too. Getting to sleep on the back side of the moon uh, prior to reacquisition. We'll next hear from the spacecraft for next to choir in about 45 minutes. Well, this plane at is not a long flight. Hours, 23 minutes. This is Apollo Control, Houston. I don't see a name for this lake. It's just part of the Tigris River. This is Apollo Control at 150 We are now eight minutes. over Iraq. Uh, we have just acquired the uh, spacecraft now on its 36th revolution of the moon. We expect the crew uh, will be asleep at this time. Uh, we'll stand by uh, briefly to see if we uh, get any calls from the spacecraft. Present time Apollo 12 is in an orbit with an apolloon of 60.2 nautical miles, a paralloon of 53.9. Uh, the combined weight of the, uh, the CSM weight, rather, is 35,627 pounds. This is Apollo Control. Uh, we're getting good high bit Certainly rate. Certainly an interesting landscape. From the spacecraft. 
uh, the crew now in their sleep period. We don't expect any further conversation from the spacecraft until the sleep period ends at uh, 157 hours 30 minutes. Uh, we'll be prepared to uh, come back up should we get any uh, calls from the crew. In the meantime, we'll be taking the circuit down and uh, continuing to monitor. At 153 hours 19 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Directly in front of us is the city of Duhok, D-U-H-O-K. At 154 hours 22 minutes, we've had loss of signal now from the uh, spacecraft on its 36th revolution of the moon. We'll be reacquiring in about 45 minutes. Uh, we had no conversations with the crew on this uh, revolution. No, no, not again. Sorry, the map, I was looking at the map. I didn't realize I was that close to the sound barrier. Or a little over three hours from now. Sorry, sorry. All spacecraft uh, systems were uh, looking normal as we... Uh, I'll just throttle down. It's it's fine. It's not that long a trip. We don't Biometric need to go that fast. Indicates the crew asleep. So this is Duhok. At 154 hours 22 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. I think you, you can see sort of a patchy area up front there to our right, and that's Mosul. I think it's patchy because they got more recent aerial photographs of it. This is Apollo Control at 100. Not great for blending, but minutes. we'll see how it looks. Uh, we're about eight minutes, 30 seconds now from reacquiring the command module on its uh, 37th revolution of the moon. Uh, we have a little over an hour and a half left in the uh, sleep period. And a correction, about two and a half hours. That sleep period is scheduled to end at uh, 157 hours, 30 minutes. There will be a change of shift briefing in the Houston News Center in about 15 minutes. Uh, flight Director Clifford Charlesworth is coming on to replace the uh, black team of flight controllers headed by uh, Glenn Lunny. Uh, the change of shift uh, briefing will include uh, Flight Director Glenn Lunny, also the Flight Dynamics Officer for this shift, Jay Green and the capsule communicator, astronaut Don Lind. We estimate that will begin in about uh, 15 minutes. At 154 hours, 59 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control, 156 hours, 8 minutes, ground elapsed time. 10 minutes until loss of signal in the 37th lunar revolution. Crew still asleep at this time, some one hour, 21 minutes remaining in the scheduled sleep period. Present orbit, approximately uh, 62.6 by 57.6 nautical miles, apolune and paralune respectively. At uh, 159 hours and 4 minutes, uh, just slightly under 3 hours from now, the crew is scheduled to do a 380.5 feet per second service propulsion system maneuver out of plane to the north, which will drive the orbit back over these photo sites, which will be photographed later tomorrow morning. These are candidate landing sites for future Apollo missions. The Framaro Formation, La Land, and uh, one other area, which escapes my memory at the moment. <laughs> it's all right. There you go. Oh, okay. He got reminded. It's tough to remember all these sites. And at 156 hours, 9 minutes. Ground elapsed time. This is Apollo Control. So this is Mosul. Uh, I think the largest city in northern Iraq. There's also Erbil. Uh, that's over to the east from here. So we won't be going over there. It'll be out of our way. This is Apollo Control. 157 hours, 23 minutes. Ground elapsed time. 
We've had uh, acquisition now for interesting that there's sort of a patch of farmland over to our right there, crew still basically in the midst of the city. Scheduled sleep period. However, it's been noticed on the ground that the and then uh, clear portions of desert changing in the last few minutes, and we're anticipating a call from the, in the crew. In the midst of the city Surgeon as well. Says that the two crewmen who have biomedical instrumentation during the sleep period uh, are awake at this time. Well, let's continue following so the Tigers. We'll, uh, leave the air to ground circuit up live to uh, catch the first exchange this morning. Good morning, Apollo 12, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Morning, 12. Sort of appropriate following the Tigris River. I don't think it actually means right. tiger. <laughs> so, but but it, it's close. Uh, it's close enough. Uh, of course, the F5 okay, is is also the tiger. That's its nickname. Uh, it does mean tiger. So we're following the Tiger River. Roger, we copy. If treated as Greek, uh, it says that it's the Tiger River in the Tiger. I did not expect things to work well, out that well. Standing by with the, uh, updates as I didn't even think about land, that. And in that order. Okay, uh, you ready to copy Lunar Orbit Plane Change 2? Maneuver pad, lunar orbit, plane change to SPS, GNN, 35584, minus 078, plus 029er, 159er. Okay, hold it there, Dick. Uh, okay, let's pick up again on the uh, GET. We were getting a lot of static. 159er, 04. Four four seven eight minus zero zero one three six plus zero three eight one one plus all zeros roll pitch yaw all zeros zero zero six four zero plus zero zero five six five zero three eight one three zero one niner Zero three six eight two. See, that should be better zero angle five, as well. The patchiness zero, four, of five, Mosul six. ruins that view, but three eight seven. Foresight star is zero three. If you get better shadows on the tank, that'd be nice. Up one six point five. Left one point nine. And your stars, Sirius and Rigel. You have two two three zero eight four zero seven one. The yellowage is four jet eleven seconds. Standing by for readback. And twelve uh, before the readback, we're also standing by with your state vector, target load, and refs mat. If we give us poo and accept. Consumables update. 
at GET of 157 plus 00. zero. RCS total 47.1. decimal 46.1 on A. 49.345.447.6. And assuming that you've stirred, H2 total, tank 1, 44. Tank 2, 44. O2. I think I should position the camera so that the river nine. and the plane are sort of balanced. That's good. Okay, copied all that. Coming at you with a map update, Rev 39. LOS 158 1632 158 159-0246. Roger, LOS 158-1632, 158-4150, 159-0246. Readback's correct, and we're standing by with a TEI-41 pad when you're ready to copy. Go ahead. TEI-41, SPS, GNN. 34264 minus 078 plus 028 164 41 1604. Your delta V's plus 36554 plus 04701 plus 00329er. Roll NA. Pitch, zero nine or two. We're more than halfway Draw there already. NA. Your ollage, four jet, eleven seconds. It's just down the river. And that assumes the lunar orbit plane change too. Not a whole lot of cities on the Tigris, it seems. The city of Kirkuk is somewhere to our left. Uh, it's not really on a river, as far as I can tell. 12, Houston, could we have the configuration of the high game, track mode and beam width? Which is somewhat strange when you think about it. Maybe it's some other water Copy. that I can't see. It Maybe a stream of some sort, but certainly not a large river. Roger. Okay, we're in React Narrow now. Roger, React. Well, Houston, uh, would you like some information on the crater which you made? Yep, I think I'm deviating from the Tigris a bit too much. Yeah. The Euphrates is even further to okay, our location our right, south to the west. 3.95 and west 21.17. And they sort of converge and at Baghdad. Uh, relative to the surveyor, 36 nautical miles east and 14 nautical miles south. And you'll be able to see that on your, or the ac actual location is on the southwestern edge of the circle for target of opportunity 39. Your velocity at impact was uh, 5502, and you came in at the angle of about uh, 3.8 degrees relative uh, to local horizontal. Roger, that's uh, 3.9 or 5 south, 21.17 west. And we did pick that up on the PSE. We got some uh, long period oscillations from it. They lasted on the order of uh, 40 to 50 minutes. Good. 
12, the computer's yours. Thank you. Pete, Houston. Okay, Pete, you can uh, dispense with the uh, bio harness, and we have some uh, recommendation for you if you feel you need it for uh, clearing up some of the skin irritation. Okay, uh, it, it goes away uh, as soon as I take it off. The one that I have is uh, all dried up now that I can move. So, uh, go ahead with your recommendation. The uh, landscape is sure intricate. You can okay, see right below us those ridges. Uh, one wash thoroughly around all sensor locations with wet wipes. You then remove the uh, biosensors and harness. Fascinating little streams. Wash the uh, skin in those areas with wet wipes and let dry. Apply the skin cream to the affected areas twice daily. And apply no bandages over the irritated areas. And in drying, uh, just let it dry in the air. That is some divide. <laughs> There's a line going there that's okay, very, very tectonic, I feel. I don't know anything about geology, but that looks tectonic to me. <laughs> so, oh, well, Houston, uh, would you give us the uh, shaft? It's definitely a hint of some kind. The city on the Tigris uh, right there is Tikrit. The Occasionally uh, occurred in the news about Iraq. coupling switch to direct and see if it stops. Looking very dusty at uh, whatever time of year the aerial photo was taken to Crete is. possible for you folks to uh, do some photography on the impact or the crater which you folks made with the ascent stage uh, we can uh, looks very dry but over to our uh, right is a uh, fairly large lake you really can sort of dry. see it in the haze there uh, Thurthar Lake uh, what are you of and there's actually a uh, series of lakes that? sort of in a row beside between the Tigris and Euphrates Remove the camera from window 4, 
change to 250 millimeter lens and hand hold out the hatch window and you, the following settings would, would apply. F5.6 and 1, 1 25th and you can take uh, several shots. Okay, I've got after Lamont uh, photography, stop pitch, 20 degrees roll left, TCA is 154723, 250mm left, F5.6 at 1125. That's right, that's uh, 1, 125th. You can sort of see uh, a canal going from the river to that lake. I guess it might be some sort of reservoir. It's a pretty big lake though. And uh, right here, this city is Samara. Right at this split. Apollo 12, Houston. As the Tigris turns to the east. Okay, with reference to our questions we just had on the optics. And Tell you what we we've do seen too. Down here. We've just seen the uh, oscillation intermittently and so far we've seen no effect on the P-52s. And we've observed this oscillation only in the zero mode. Okay. Apollo 12, Houston. Go ahead. 12, we've observed that the high gain antenna works better after being off. Therefore, we'd like to uh, request that you turn the high gain, high gain antenna power off at LOS and then turn it back on again at AOS. Okay. Houston, one minute to LOS. Roger, roger. Roger, there are the torquing angles you're picking up on. That's affirmative, we have them. Okay. Okay, we're torquing at this time. Well, see you on the other side. Bye bye. Ah, yes, the horrible static of LOS. This is Apollo Control. Conveniently cut out by yours Apollo truly. 12, uh, I assure you, there are many minutes of static. <laughs> But you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through that AOS because I cut it out. In uh, about 47 minutes. Ignition, uh, counting down to ignition for the plane change maneuver. Some 47 uh, minutes and five seconds until that maneuver. And at uh, 158 hours, 17 minutes ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control. The next major city is going to be Baghdad. We're not very far now. In fact, I'll start descending. This is Apollo Control, 159 hours, 2 minutes ground elapsed time. Less than a minute away from acquisition as Apollo 12 comes out from behind the moon on the 39th lunar revolution. And some 2 minutes... 14 seconds until ignition for the uh, SPS plane change maneuver. Coming up at uh, 159.04. As mentioned earlier, this 380. I started getting more second. of the turkey photo scenery. I was we'll somewhat negligent in not getting that earlier. Back over the potential landing sites for future Apollo missions. Okay, we definitely don't want to break the sound barrier, okay? Will be photographed in uh, considerable 
detail by the crew. Should have acquisition now. We'll stand by for the first call. Houston, uh, we got TM, we're looking at you. Okay, good show. Twelve, Houston, you're looking good. All right. Well, you can clearly see Baghdad ahead. Plus point two, plus point seven. Copy twelve. Mm, oh, I don't think my little plugin is active, so I'll leave it off for now. Roger, eleven point three. Burn looked good, and we've got. That's a pretty big city, so we'll see what kind of lag we get. Negative 12, we've got all we need. Thank you, Ed. We can see a canal going... 12, computer's yours. Uh, and we I have don't, the uh, information for photo alone. I don't know content. if that's connecting to the lake over there or... Okay, go ahead. Some other way. It seems to be flowing into the okay, Tigris, though. Photo Okay, let's not descend too quickly. Four zero one nine T two one five nine four four one nine roll pitching yaw zero 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 point nine two five six point six zero zero five uh, scratch that that's zero 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 decimal five. Our destination airport. For some reason, there's an aircraft carrier there. Okay, oh, uh, please. I get the last one. Zero, 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 something. Two, five, His six, Orbi. Point six, and zero, 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 point five. Baghdad International. Okay, that's correct, and roll is zero, 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 point But we'll make a few zigzags first. Ooh, that doesn't look like a particularly okay, good area. That's correct. You can start Meanwhile, there's sort of a eight. palace ground thing at over to our back right there. Houston, 12. 12, go ahead. That hot engine arrived, didn't buy any chance to buy us enough gas to come home a day early, did it? <laughs> Sounds like he's getting bored. Stand by, we'll see what we can work out. Yeah, I knew it was touch and go with fuel reserves, but uh, San Diego was so good I didn't know whether we went up and lower it more. Okay, 12, we're thinking on that one. I seem to recall the infamous green zone being. Uh in that yeah, bend in the river, but I'm not sure. 
That's where American operations were headquartered. Well, Houston, you can start charge on Bat A. Oh yeah, now I'm hitting uh, some lag. Right. Oh, well, there's something over here. Hello, Houston, 12. 12, Houston, go ahead. Hey, Ed, will you ask SAO? How come they've got I don't know what this road... Maybe that's a canal with, uh, of some sort. It looks like it. Some sort of canal to our Roger, immediate we'll right. Dick, uh, that's just pad on the film. You can uh, cut it off before or after you okay. uh, see fit. Okay. I thought maybe I missed something. No way. That's possible. And SPS a real hummer, isn't it? Yeah, it's really throwing it out. That's the first time I've seen a wallow. It starts to wallow through the sky now. Yeah, copy that, Dick. Uh Okay, that's the airport over there. We can see it to our right. And I think I'll just try and make a landing soon. I don't know any sites here, and I, I don't know if there are a whole lot of buildings of note intact, to be honest. Well, that's obviously some sort of complex at that river bend. Okay, it indicates on the map there that there's a uh, sort of a uh, ridge uh, running along there. Is it uh, on the east side of the ridge or on the west side of the ridge? Let me get that plug-in active so we're not too choppy. Stand by. I want to avoid going into the cockpit as long as possible because of that breathing. Okay, Pete, the uh, ridge which I believe you're talking about runs along uh, to the western side of the center of that circle. So that uh, the impact ought to be a little bit to the east of that ridge. Uh, I agree the map's uh, not too well defined in that area, okay. however. Okay, very good. Thank you. Al, would you verify that uh, you've started that battery charge, or that it is in work? It, it, it's in work. We're kind of busy right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mark, here's the battery charge start. Roger, Pete, thank you. Oh well, I guess there's nothing for it. Twelve, Houston, go ahead. Here we go. Okay, can you pick up the disky? Roger, we have it. There you are. That's not bad for a gyro torquing, huh? Roger, Dick, looks real good. That tells me we gotta be hit. That tells me we ought to be using them more often. And he's going to go ahead and work at this time. Okay, we're standing by. You got it.
Carl of Houston with a stereo photo and map update, Route 40. Okay, stand by, sir. Go ahead. Stereo photo, T1, 160. It's like Darth Vader is flying this thing. Okay, gear down. Hit the flaps. Map update, Rev 40. LOS 160 160-4011. 1610115. Feel like I'm way low. But I don't see any pappy lights or anything. Take five minutes and add it to each. And that'll give you the four of them in the order in which they're on the page. 161 11, 161 21, 161 39, 161 43. Oh, that's better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't think its stall speed was that low, but okay. Well, now I'm high, but... It felt like it was sinking quite a lot. I think I'll just go around. Been doing that a lot lately, but... Let me just take a look at how I'm configured right now. Here, down, flaps are good. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you're up now. I swear that Sidewinder's twitching quite a lot. Also ought to have a round nose and a pointy nose, but add details.
seconds, 12. We'll see you on the other side. And maybe the uh, photos will show something. Like right. That. This is Apollo Control. We've had lost well, signal I, from Apollo That can't 12. be right. Okay, fine. Is it, uh, uh, I'm apparently way high. behind the moon on the 39th revolution. Some <laughs> 45 minutes from acquisition of okay, signal. Okay, doesn't make sense to me, but... We're now in a... Uh, orbit measuring 64 by 56.7. Yeah. Let me just come around the other side. There's something weird. I'm just not doing a very yeah. good job. Let's Lunar change orbit. things up a bit. Plane change. <laughs> Honestly. Maneuver number two was on time. And uh, was one half foot per second more than the uh, predicted. Present velocity 5,364 feet per second. And at 160 hours, Maybe I should take a minutes. look at the map. <laughs> this is Apollo Control. Might help. Or might distract me. We'll see. I think mostly it's uh, horrible is breathing. This 161 hours. Ground elapsed time. Less than a minute away from acquisition on the... Let's not get too high this time. ...is Apollo 12. Comes around to the visible face of the moon. Crew still taking uh, various photography exercises, and during this pass, we'll attach the 16 millimeter motion picture camera to the optics of the navigation sextant, using the optics for uh, the actual photography. Terminator to Terminator, beginning at. Uh, I'm gonna try the other runway. I like that sort of. Gravity indicator, a little globe there. That's an interesting touch. Don't know what it's attached to. Uh, 160, 57, going through 161, 50. Ground elapsed time. We're standing by now for acquisition. Some should have it by now. We'll stand by. Apollo 12, Houston, standing by. Real good, Dick. Okay, I understand the request, Dick. Uh, we don't place too much uh, importance on that, but if you want it, uh, we can give it to you. Understand that, Dick. We'll get her on the flyby. Say again, Paul. Well, I'm quite a bit off. Oh, God. I just said we'll get it on the flyby. And the runway seems a bit bumpy. That's not great either. Well, Houston, uh, we suggest now 91. Okay, okay. Oh, God. All right. I want to go back to flying my F5 in DCS world. That's interesting. I was not expecting that camera. Okay. Yes, and bumpy runway. Roger, Pete, understand. Does it look, uh, well, somehow uh, we arrived safely. There, you get a little better feel for what it's like. Well, I, I uh, think so. Uh, of course, the backside back there doesn't really look anything like what we were on. Okay, with that observation, that uh, 
back side of the moon does not look like the front side. Uh, we have arrived in Baghdad and the next flight will be a flight from Baghdad to Kuwait City in a TB30 Epsilon. Nothing too controversial, I hope. And uh, so, look forward to that. And with this taxiing, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.